All right, first they, they, uh, they tell you some lies and, and now they want to sell you a pill, right? I mean, this is, this is really what we've seen go on. And I mean, it's, it's, it becomes pretty clear as we watch this play out. And so if we look at the uh, sort of the, uh, you know, the, the recommendations for diet going back 50 years or more now, you know, it's been to eat a grain-based diet with uh, low amounts, particularly of animal, sat, animal fats. We want to increase our vegetable fats. And we look at uh, USDA data, that's exactly what's happened. Our, our consumption of, of animal fats is, you know, basically plateaued, you know, plateaued flatline, whereas our consumption of vegetable oils, seed oils, all this other stuff has gone up dramatically. So our, we've seen an increase in that. We've seen an increase in our grain consumption, as seen by this chart here. We look at the numbers comparing 1970 versus 2014. Grains are up significantly. Oils are up significantly. Uh, sweeteners are up marginally. Meat is pretty much stable. Dairy's down a little bit. Fruits and vegetables up or slightly. But basically, we started eating more grains and more oil. Basically, this is this is what our diet has become, and that has resulted in you know, uh, in my view, the massive epide obesity epidemic, the massive chronic disease epidemic, and the same people. You know, these people from these institutions, these these learned uh, learned academic uh, institutions. Uh, well, that have been telling us this nonsense for years, demonizing animal fats, uh, are now telling us, you know, this is uh, this, this phys physician's name is Fatima Stanford. She is a, a physician from Harvard University, and uh, she is actually on the U.S. Dietary Guidelines Advisory Panel telling us what we're going to eat for the next five years, so to speak. And she's come out saying that obesity is not, you know, anything you can do anything about. It's a, it's a genetic disease, more or less, and the only way, really, to treat it basically is to take pills, to take drugs, to take Ozempic shots. I mean, she's, she's obviously getting money from that company as well. And so here's what we have. Sell you a lie, you suffer from that, and now we're gonna sell you a, a, a pill to, to fix, fix what our lie has caused. And this is what's going on. Should be clear as day to everyone. You know, and the sad thing is they will continue to uh, push this on, on, on our kids, you know, brainwashing our kids in school. Now it's about, oh, don't eat meat because it's bad for the planet. Re further reinforcing and pushing us farther down this metabolic disaster that we've, that we've gone into. And, and, you know, you look around and it's us older people, you know, I'm almost 60 years of age and I'm like looking around going, this is not how it's supposed to be. But these kids growing up today, they're not going to know any different. I mean, all their friends are fat. I mean, half their friends are fat, right? They're like, well, that's normal. That's normal. It's body positivity. You know, it's normal. It's, it's not anyone's fault. It's not the, certainly not the fault of the food, right? Uh, so this is what you have. And so it is upon us, you know, to change the things. And like I keep saying, market force, market force, market force. Use your spending power. Use your buying power. Don't promote this stuff. It is possible to turn it around, but it's going to take the efforts of all of us and consistent effort stuff. And, and you know, when you think about, ah, oh, just, I'm just gonna, you know, just, just relax and have fun and be, be, be con you know, outsource my nutrition to convenience. Think about the impact, you know, and, and, and there's nothing wrong um, with eating delicious, homemade, home cooked food. I mean, first of all, learn how to cook if you don't know how to do it. I'm out there, I got three uh, plates of ribs smoking right now, so I'm excited about that later today. Anyway, guys, bunch of lies. A lot of us have fallen for it. It's time to time to turn it around, and and uh, I hope we all do in a very very decisive and, and very demonstrative manner. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. We'll talk to you soon.